nice to meet you to this new Wikipedia show. Yeah, on the bench I got a CD player from Yoshi. He bring me that. It's a NADC 520 and um, we must show what's happened with it. He, he said something is defect. <laughs> I say okay. <laughs> we must on uh, we must analyze what's happened. So he opened it. Um, I said to him, no, don't open it, but he opened it and I would like to repair it. And um, uh, we do it easy today. <laughs> we don't need to open. Look at this wonderful machine, huh? A wonderful blue print. This is cool, huh? This is really cool. Ah, everything inside is super. I like this. I like it very much. Transformer the tray and the whole electronic in one few able. Mm -hmm. It's cool, really. I like it. Uh -huh. Now we would like to connect it and to take the power plug. Do it. Here is the power plug and I connect it on the left side here. I have so and I press uh, the one button. And what's happened? Uh huh. Nothing. Maybe the display is defect. Uh, so open. No open. Hmm. That's interesting. Um, this is time for a measurement instrument. I take it. So I have it here, my measurement instrument, and we would like to test what's happened with the power supply. The first test is every time the power supply. What I would like to do is to measure the, the power inside the machine. So we need a volt and um, transformers are working with AC input and AC output. So we go into AC to this AC. Now we switch on. It's on. Okay. And I measure. Hope so. Something is here. Mm -hmm. Zero five. Zero is five. 0, 5, 0, 5, uh -huh. it's nothing in between the, the fuses, also in front of the fuses, mm. it's interesting, nothing, <laughs> nothing. Uh, I would like to measure the transformer, uh -huh. you can see 234 volts, plus minus, that means the AC voltage coming through the transformer, but on the outside, no, nothing came out. Hmm. <laughs> this is interest. Maybe the transformer is broken. I think so. Uh, do it the NAD. The most current is fluting in the power supply and heating and overheating the transformer over time. Maybe the thermal fuse is blown. That means this is the interruption for the primary side. We have a watch on the transformer. If it is okay, we check it. First of all, what you're gonna do is you disconnect the player from the from the mains plug. Don't touch the contacts. It's very dangerous. It's a life risk problem. So, what we're gonna do is now we got a screwdriver and doing this. <laughs> Open up the transformer and build it out. I hope so there is nothing in the way. Aha. Uh Aha. -huh. Uh -huh. On the other side we must hold them with a flat please. and cannot move around and around robin around robin around so don't forget this to have <laughs> it's the important thing well what's happened here yeah. Interest. 
that wouldn't work. Hold it by my finger, but that doesn't work. The flat player is important to have. So, bloop. It's falling out, falling out, falling out. Where's my transformer? Aha. Oh, they have so corner angles holding it down. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, that means we must cut this and cut that. What we're gonna do here is to install by the zip tie. I'll leave it away and can put it out. So, can we disconnect this here? No, it's not possible. Uh -huh, it's interest. How we can open this? Uh, this is a special made. <laughs> Very special. Oh, close, look. It's everything close here. Uh, with this copper ring and so on. Hmm. That means we must cut this off or stuff like this. Hmm. Spare part not exist, um, so we must have a look inside. Maybe we can repair it. Uh, this is, it's hard, I think. It's hard. Hmm. It's possible, but it's, it's, it's hard. In the next step, I would like to desolder it with my soldering iron. And you can see it here, 370 degrees, look, it's very easy to come out. And I think I desoldered the transformer complete because the, uh, the thing is that um, we have it on the other side, the, mm, this thermal fuse is maybe on the other side, on this side, not on that. Here, if I cut it here, I cannot find it here. I think it's it's more here. So that means I must desolder all these stup super things here. And uh, ah, my gosh, <laughs> this is heavy. Ah, so. I should clean that thing, huh? <laughs> Look, here's the dirt from the last operation. And we must uh, dissolve this. Mm hmm. Hope so, I should clean that. It's <laughs> this solder pump. <laughs> and uh, I desoldered the transformer. Would like to open up the, the shield. And after this open up the shield, I hope so I can find the thermal fuse. But uh, I think it's not allowed to deinstall this thermal fuse and, and, and bridge it. Uh, so the dangerousness is in, in overheating problem. Um, the transformer. Um, it's a good. Uh, now I must clean it. I'm very sorry for that. <laughs> uh, so. I cleaned it. Ugh, look, a lot of dirt is inside. That means 
it's not it, it's not working anymore oh look here there is the there is the problem of the movement this is <laughs> super <laughs> oh very funny I must clean it now it's time the camera is overheated look here inside all see dirty or everything dirty so after this I clean up here and we're doing the next steps the next steps I doing from this perspective I yeah it's better it's better and and these solder pins from the transformer we must build out and after this should make to find out what's happened with the thermal views okay hope so I can put this away or is it uh, is it too to desolder this side the other side okay and here aha sometimes it's too much for the for the desoldering copper sometimes but it's okay Zack. a lot of people mean that cannot solve but uh, I tell you I can solve it. This is not a problem. In the early days, we bridged them, but uh, I think it's not allowed to bridge a uh, thermal fuse. Look, <laughs> here is the PCB in blue. Wonderful. <laughs> That's cool. Uh, put it back in the machine, and here we are. Mm, what's the next step? How we open this? Mm, it's quite complicated this is a little bit complicated um, should I use the hammer or should I use not the hammer this is the question and maybe the copper ring is only here on this side it's not rounded then that can be open but if not we must open it here we must open it here it's 
quite complicated, but do the mechanical work. You can see, tuck. <laughs> how to open it and here don't be angry if you think uh, this 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 transformer is defect from this wonderful machine but it is defect uh, it's, it's definitive defect <laughs> have a break and uh, then we need a small screwdriver small not a bigger size how we can uh, fiddle in and uh, I'm messing around look tuck it's open and transformer must be fall out now look here is the mounting packet so what we're gonna do next um, we this is shielded over shielded um, we this here and we break it Mr. Scissors <laughs> I hope so I can cut it Mr. Scissors so attention it's very dangerous is cutting <laughs> So, and then we de-isolated. Mm, I hope so. We can do this by finding up the the start point of here. But hmm, it's too. I think so. It's too too crazy to find this take a cutter but very easy it's an easy cut only on the on the corner we cut it and we bring it out don't do that aggressive look this is what we must um, deinstall. The plastic -y thing here. This is that what we need to open up. And now I found out that the fuse can bridge the outside. But we'll show you this. I must build it in the transformer and close it um, this pin will be the input then came the thermal fuse and then the first coil interruption here is a bridge second coil this is not connected that means here are two coils and this first is the thermal fuse I would like to bridge this order a new one to test if the machine is running and order a new one and build it between here and here in and glue it here on the transformer here on it I mean strap like here then it's correct and uh, thermal fuse will be run again I think so at 60 degrees uh, permanent um, value 60 or 70 degrees um, permanent value and the issue is corrected or repaired how you how you ever can call this or see this now we would like to insert the transformer into the into the CD player again and um, there are two small brackets that we must install second bracket is here now we must uh, insert this screw ah it's from outside 
from the other side. It's from the other side. Aha. Uh -huh. We put that from the other side. There is the hole. Here is the hole. And put the nut on it. <laughs> Loosey goosey. <laughs> oh man. This is interesting. Oh, that's so. I'll screw that here. Huh? I don't know what's happened with these nuts. I hold it. Ah. Other one is running away. You can see the. And on the other side. <laughs> Must insert it and uh, where's my hole? Aha, you can move it left and right. So. Aha, I make a mistake. Here are two wishes. Look, they are losing. <laughs> I must open it again, but not yet. I'm doing the second second screw with a wisher, and this wisher should be in because all parts must be installed in like the original. This is important. Also this fuse must be installed. I order one. We only searching now the failure and after I order this I build it in and so the thermal fuse can blow again. <laughs> that means it's a it's a construction that is overheated over time. And I'm not very happy about this but okay. If the engineers think so, they must be making uh, thermal problems. Then you have a then you have a standard issue at the construction. This is this is not a serial failure, but it's it comes maybe the transformer fuse are going older and the temperature falling down and so on. Yeah, that, 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 that's the reason why. And. Mm, other one is crying, hey, this is a, a serial failure. No, it's not a serial failure. This is no failure. This is only f fuses can gone if they are old, yeah? And it is so. We, we must accept it. It's the same as you should uh, change your wheels, uh, your tires on your car after uh, um, uh, 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 a mileage and not one mile I mean long drive yeah after 10 years or so your six years you must change it and uh, it's the same here we should all change our transformers in new modern machines are no transformers like this built in uh, they have switching power supply and this switching power supply making a lot of distortions in the air or the uh, electromagnetic field like the DCF77 clock and so on so I fixed it okay that looks like good cable in and all is installed the, like the original Now we would like to start it, power plug, and I connect the power plug, fingers crossed. Making a loud noise, like this, but it's running, it works, <laughs> but this brrr. Happen with this sound. Can 
not live with that. Today, Violent Fames. <laughs> My test CD. And... Okay. Something happened. Oh, what's here? What went wrong here? Disconnect. It's not going to be warm. But this... Brrr, what is this? The brrr? Never heard. You hear this? Look. Also the display. Nothing warm, but the aggressive grrr. What is this? I mean, hmm. I don't know what's happened with this. Hmm. This is making a sound irritating me. Who would like to have this sound? Those are the also the voltage. Uh, let's have a look on the voltage. We must uh, find out what is the what is the volt and AC. It's important that we measure in AC. Measure here and here. Hmm, 11, 11 volt. You can see it. 11 volts. Okay, and here 17 volts. Okay, and in between. Ah, it's irritating. No, nothing special. Uh, we can measure the DC uh, after the after the Here is the corner and here is the minus 9.4 okay and here it's here is the plus here and the minus here 23 volts okay 23 volts that means mm -hmm. I don't know what's happened with this transformer. No, it's not. Uh, it's not good. I think. Hmm. Also, the player don't play. Play. He gave me a a cartridge. And is this the new one or is this the old one? I must. I must give him a call. What I found out is that the that, uh, CD player don't work, but uh, interesting. This irritating noise makes something. And I found out uh, that the CD player comes over 80 degrees, 88 degrees. If it's running a while, 70, 80 degrees, you see, 90 degrees, 92 degrees, oh, switch off, 92 degrees, unbelievable. A transformer, I disconnected now from the, from the rest of the CD belay, maybe there is a short on the end. And now, uh huh, nothing. 
temperature is falling or rising? Ah, I don't know, this is very complicated, but there is no, um, maybe we have a short, no it's not a short, it's the current what is floating in. Hmm. We must control this, what's happened with this? Hmm. If it's too high in the, look, oh, it's 90 degrees, ah, it's too much, switch it off. It's too much for the transformer. I think the transformer has an uh, internal coil short circuit. Mm, yeah, that's happened. And well, the NAD C520 CD player was with a thermal issue on the transformer side defect. I breached this for test issues and found out that the transformer came through 90 degrees, 88 degrees or so, and this is too dangerous. That means the internal transformer coil on the primary side was defect and have a short cut issue. Also, uh, irritating noise are coming out, so like the bzzz or so, uh, and it sounds not normal. Uh, if I disconnect it from the motherboard, uh, it have the same issue. That means the thermal overviews. If you are interested in my channel, please subscribe and or sponsor me at patrons. <laughs> um, I think so. I must uh, watch uh, for a new transformer. If there is no original spare part uh, um, available, so this is obsolete. I cannot do nothing for it. I can make a, a power supply with two power supplies, but um, is that good for NAD CD players? Hmm, that's the question. They build in this transformer in case of noise and distortion from the power supply, I think. Thank you for watching.